this week. <clears throat> this week we have seen the end of a era in the form of uh, Nelson Mandela's death. The significance of his life is not just political. Of course, politically it's of great significance to that nation. But as a man, we have seen very few men like that in the last century. And as many of you who do not know the history of this nation's freedom struggle. Even India's freedom struggle was incubated in South Africa. It is a certain affront uh, to Mahatma Gandhi's dignity which the apartheid regime delivered, which ignited India's spiritual movement in a big way. <clears throat> it's unfortunate that injustice, subjugation, and many levels of cruelty generates wonderful men. We have to find a way, which is what is our effort, to generate such men when there is no strife, when there is no subjugation, when there is no injustice. We should incubate such men in joy, in celebration, but largely societies have failed to do that. because it's pain that becomes the most profound experience of most human life. Not joy, not love, not ecstasy, it's a pain. It's the profound of the profoundness of that experience which <clears throat> spawns men of rare qualities, of incredible strength and balance. Having gone through unspeakable levels of cruelty and injustice, in spite of that not becoming bitter and hateful, this is the hallmark of Mandela, that he still lived laughing, joyful, not resentful. That takes a certain quality for a man to do that. Small things that you… that happen to people, they remember forever and they're resentful for their whole life, for little things. <laughs> Not imported by some cruel regime, small things that parents did to children, <laughs> they remember <laughs> and are resentful to the end of their life. The end of his life must be a reminder for every one of us that you shouldn't stand in a line of resentful people. You should stand alone in true freedom. Freedom doesn't come because of political processes or economic processes. Freedom comes when Nobody can incite an unnecessary quality in you, no matter what they do. <clears throat> His eventful life has come to an end. It's for us to see that 
many more men like that are spawned on the planet. Not necessarily in the kind of situations that he was molded. A spiritual process means just that, that the outside situations need not drive you, outside situations do not mold you. You don't have to be whip whipped by the world to be at your best. You're willing to whip yourself to be at your best. When it's self-driven, we call it spiritual. When it's driven by somebody, it becomes slavery.